what is going on? My name is Robert. I'm here today to talk all about these bad boys here. So if you guys are on my Facebook, uh, you know, probably about a month ago, uh, the guys at uh, Dragonheart, or it's actually the company C. Whitney Guitars, uh, sent me some of these guitar picks to try out. And um, I really wanted to, you know, test them out and have them for a while before I did an actual review about the picks because um, probably, as you can see on your screen now, uh, they're a really unique design. So I was really intrigued by them because, I mean, obviously there's so many kinds of guitar picks out there. Um, you know, it takes quite a bit to be original in the, the pick world these days. And I have to say, hands down, they have done it. So what you have here, what I'm holding, is the Dragonheart. Now there's three different ones. This is the hardened pick. This is the one that I kind of um, favorited out of the three. I really like it, uh, just the sounds I get out of it. I'm, I'll talk about each one. But this one ended up being my favorite. So you look at it and it has these three sides on it, which to me is the thing that instantly kind of intrigued me about the picks. Now when I see it, it's kind of like having three picks in your hand. Uh, you have your normal, you know, kind of edge right here, which is going to be your pick in hand for your, uh, you know, kind of like a well-rounded everything. You know, if you want to strum, pick, solo, all that stuff, but you have your really pointed side now. Now this is one I like to use a lot when I'm recording um, solos. It really makes them pop, and you can hear it. I'll play it acoustically, <laughs> almost acoustically, versus the other one, much softer. Now on the other side here is probably to me the most unique side of the guitar pick, because you have this very rounded side. Now, um, an issue with thick picks, because these are pretty thick picks, um, is obviously when you get to strumming and kind of uh, even play, like playing on acoustic, uh, thick picks have a, usually a darker sound to them, which I personally like out of a pick. But um, sometimes, you know, it's hard for people to strum and play an acoustic with a real thick pick. So what they have here is this rounded edge that I found makes strumming uh, very, very easy. It's almost like a, a gypsy style pick. So you really have like the best of all three different worlds kind of happening all at once here. So like I said, now this is the hardened one. This is the one that um, I kind of got attached to. Now what it is, is it's made out of a material. I'm, I know I'm going to say the name wrong, so I'm just going to put it on the screen. So that's what it's made out of, but it's actually um, filled with glass. So I thought that was kind of a unique approach to this. And, you know, it feels very comfortable. As your hand gets uh, kind of like hot and sweaty after playing for a little bit, um, they they don't like stick too much. I can still kind of move them around and flip to the sides real easily, but they um, you know they stay in your hand and they have the kind of like the dragon design, so you can kind of feel that a little bit and it helps for some grip. So like I said, now this is the hardened. They come in three different designs. So you have the hardened, then you also have the pure, which is um, it's, it's made out of the same material but it, it doesn't have the glass inside of it. So it does feel a little bit different and they all sound distinctly different. Um, one thing that really sets these, part, these picks apart from the rest is how long the lifespan of the pick is. And um, as you can probably see, I'm putting it on the screen with each one. It's extremely long. These are gonna outlast any pick, you know, without you know, even dulling at all. And you have, like I said, the three different sides. So it, it's, it's, it's extremely impressive to me how long these picks last. Cool, so the third one here is the original. So this one, again, is made out of the same material, but it has, um, I think they listed about 12% graphite in it, so it makes it a very fast pick. And again, um, you know, I think it has like a thousand hours of, of life on it before it starts to dull, and that's, you know, intense. You can watch, they have a video where they put it through some pretty intense tests on their website. It, it's, it's funny to watch some of the stuff they're doing. But, um, you know, they just, they really want to get the point across that these picks, you, you can't mess with them. Like, they're, they're built like tanks. And, you know, most important of all about these picks are the tone. So when you think about it, we have, you know, we spend all this money on cables, amps, all these different kind of factors into our tone. Picks are just as important. So I highly recommend you guys try these picks out. Um, you know, kind of see, get all three of them. They're extremely affordable. Uh, some picks that are in like the same quality and range as these, you're gonna pay forty or fifty dollars a pick. No joke. Like they get expensive, but these are not. So these are right around. They're under ten dollars per pick. So really, go try those these out. I think you guys will really like them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to some of the sound samples for you. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Now, if you would, you can go check them out on Facebook and on their official website. Uh, thanks to the guys for hooking me up with these picks, trying them out. 
totally dig them. So you guys have heard these actually quite a few times. Even on my newest demo, I used this to um, record with it to kind of see how it worked with recording, and I'm beyond happy. So I will see you guys next time. Check them all out. If you guys would like the video, you can share the video. You can do all that stuff. Peace out, keep rocking, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>